guys, welcome back to Sloan's Garage. Uh, today I'm going to be changing the fuel filter on the Saturn. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be the same for a Chevy Cobalt too, because they're practically the same car, just different front end and tail on them. But the main part of the car is the same. They got like the same motor and transmission, as far as I know. But uh, so I just got a Duralas from AutoZone. Uh, when I crawled under there, it just had these uh, push lock style connectors that you can just take like any sort of like pliers, needle nose, I think would probably work the best. And you push them in and then pull it off and swap the new one in. And uh, so I'll show you where it's at under, under the car. So it's towards the rear of the car. I have it on ramps and you crawl under there and uh it's right around the uh right behind the suspension stuff just in case you were wondering where it actually was at i'll climb under there and show you guys uh changing it here in a minute how to change it now we go under <laughs> Alrighty, so it's right here. So this is the rear of the car. This is like where the spare goes, and it's tucked up. Oh, trying to film this is kind of shitty. Tucked up right here has a 10 millimeter bolt holding this bracket. Get that off. My uh, camera work is flawless, if you notice. Uh, the fuel filter I bought came with a new one of these uh, little hold down deals. So since it came with it, I'm actually gonna replace it. I can take this out and check it. Anyways, here's a better shot. These are the push locks I was talking about. Uh, and these blue tabs on the side you're gonna compress that and then slide the line off and some fuel might come out and drip on you uh, probably and then on this side if I, can, if I can see it focus has this little plastic clip which the new one came with a new one and just I might be able to do this by hand my own fingers okay gonna need the pliers this filming and trying to do stuff is kind of shitty anyways so compress that in with a pair of pliers and pull it out and then the same on these two and uh, yeah uh, I'll do this real quick and then I'll show you the next thing you're going to want to do afterwards inside the car. Alrighty. Got the, uh, where is it at? Fresh unit in there. So on this side, this clip, I told you guys to press in and pull or and then it would pull out it's actually you pull it apart and it pops off i struggled with it for a minute but just for your information these ones do these connectors you do press in and they pop off but i wore a little bit of gas i got gas in my armpits but it wasn't too bad anyways so after you get that done uh whatever fuel was in the fuel line is gonna come out whatnot so what you're gonna want to do is uh, turn the key on cycle it gonna turn the fuel pump on and uh, fill that line back up so you want to do this several times to try to get the air out of the line and the car may 
when you start it back up initially hit that air pocket and uh, mess or uh, could possibly die but I don't think it would but once it's past that it'll be fine anyways so that was that for the Saturn on a different note if you guys watch any of my past videos where I'm uh, slowly building my Firebird I uh, thought I was gonna swap in this 8.8 .8 I got 8.8 .8 rear ran that is that I got for it and uh, it's looking like I'm not gonna do that anymore partially because it's too narrow I was just gonna run wheel spacers but that's not the safest thing to do and so the other day I uh, just I guess you could say yellowed it I guess I, I don't talk like that but I bought a complete uh, Ford 9 inch setup from Quick Performance for it. It was more than the car is really worth, but it'll be uh, pretty bulletproof. And unless I'm making a shitload of power, I shouldn't hurt it. So that's coming. It's got a, a limited slip in it with 31 spline axles. I ordered a 370 gear for it. And uh, so, yeah. And I ordered some uh, suspension parts, too, to replace the uh, lower control arms, the pan hard bar, and the torque arm with all this stuff from BNR that's all tubular and stronger. It's not going to flex. And I ordered some uh, Lakewood drag shocks. So the car, like, suspension-wise, aside from uh, the coil springs, is all going to be different now and be more set up to drag race, which is what I'm wanting to do with the car, be a street strip car. So yeah, that's the news. Uh, Till next time, keep it between the ditches.